you do not want to do it, ma'am, if you do not wear a mask, you can just leave. I don't want to hear this. I don't need to hear this. I'm asking you, please, to leave. I am refusing you because you will not wear a mask. Another anti-masker hit a restaurant. You need to wear a mask to come in here. Lady, I have asthma. It's really bad. My inhaler is in my backpack. Do you want me to show it to you? Lady, I'm telling you, please, just leave. I'm on my lunch. You can leave. You can leave. Can you stick your I don't need to. Manager? You can leave before I have to call the cops. I am the manager. Thinking she's proving a point, but really just making an ass of herself. That's why I'm asking your you, name. please leave. Stick your name I will. I do not have to ask, answer that. I don't have to answer any questions. Okay, you but you can you leave. The you can find that online yourself. Indeed, she could with a simple tool called Google. And they're going to tell you, you need to wear a mask when you come in here. You Both of you. I don't have to do anything. All I have to do is make food for people that are... A do what we ask them to do. As a manager, nope. I'm asking for and as a manager, I'm asking you to please leave my, my my restaurant. Unfortunately, she really has no other ammunition aside from her talking points of asking for a manager and asking for corporate's number. We set an awful record today. 3,046 people died of the coronavirus just today. That's more than the number killed on 9-11. Even as the United States reels from the coronavirus. Amid all of this, the current president, who still has six weeks left in his term. And a lame duck president who repeatedly says nothing on the topic of this deadly disease. Americans continue to perish through their inept ignorance and don't really give a damn about the people they were sworn in to serve mentality. All lives matter. John, I really believe that all lives matter. If all of this is true, why don't those who are hospitalized? If all lives matter, why are we seeing endless death each and every day in this country? Over 3,000 people a day are dying and we essentially have no government, wrote history professor Vincent J. Intundi. Trump, Pence, etc. have checked out. Staffers looking for jobs. McConnell doesn't care. We are leaderless. This is a crime against humanity. 3,000 people a day dead. How can anyone ever vote Republican again? It's a fair question and one that I ponder repeatedly. As the coronavirus continues to devastate this country, I am just finding it hard to hold my rage and my anguish together. We are watching a lack of action by the federal leadership of this country that feels almost criminal. It is depraved indifference at a level I cannot quite articulate. This is the path they chose. Mass casualty over continued stimulus relief. Mass casualty over paying people to stay home and defeat this thing. Some countries are having music festivals. Others are having sporting events with full stadiums. And our government chose a different avenue of a fight the fight and politicization of face coverings. Thus you see these, the Karens, Chads, the super spreaders, the lack of PPE, the lack of education, the choice to be conspiratorial and hang on to their last possible way to win. It is a grotesque injustice. This country is bordering on the death toll hitting 300,000 Americans. 300,000 people. Why? I don't know, it didn't have to be this way. But Donald Trump and every Republican who supported this OAN touting Nazi is completely guilty and complicit.